Anthony A.J. Elphilak was spotted by police helicopters on Monday, drinking water from a creek on his family's property in rural New South Wales. The little boy, who has autism and doesn't speak, had been last seen at the house on Friday. His family had feared that he had been abducted. But rescuers found A.J. on a riverbank about 500 meters from his house on the vast property in Putty, in the state's north. In footage shared by New South Wales police, rescuers can be heard saying I've got the boy. He has been bitten by ants, and he has fallen over, but he is alive. He is alive, a jubilant Mr. Elphilak told television crews. I know I was acting frantic, but no one can understand what it's like going through what we went through. I feel incredible. My leg, my hips, my ankles, I can't walk. I have been in the bush for four days with no sleep. We didn't stop. Local media showed scenes of family members cheering and rejoicing when they heard the good news. Prime Minister Scott Morrison also expressed relief, tweeting that he was glad to hear he's safe. I can't imagine how traumatic this experience has been for AJ and his parents, he said. It's unclear why the boy had wandered off, his parents said. AJ had been playing with his brothers in the morning on Friday and usually stuck close to his mother. Police seized a white vehicle on Sunday in the belief that they were investigating a kidnapping case.